Welcome back to today's episode of Pops Arcade. Remember in the last episode of Intruders uh, that we played, I was instructed to go hack Dad's computer. Okay, so I got to go all the way over there. Okay, so... I think I got left when I walk out here. I'm going the right way. Okay, according to this, the stairs are right in front of me, but that's not what I'm seeing on the map here. Let me try. What? Oh, wait, no, I am going the right way because that's the staircase that curves. This is the one that goes straight. So it just puts an icon in the middle of the room you're in, not the exact spot. Because I don't have enough anxiety. I did see a flashlight here. Okay. Can I close this behind me? Yeah. Okay, so there's my hand space in case they come for me. Very good friend of mine. I'm trying to get into dad's computer damage. to ask for help online. John Miller but quote. Huh? I need dad's password to get in. There's some kind of riddle, but I don't get it. It says something about comfort and a seed to heal the damage. It looks like it's from some author named Milton. Dad was reading a poetry book in the library. It looked very old. Maybe it has something to do with this. Okay. I gotta go to the library now. Ah, oh, man. Okay, hold on. Let me assess the strategy here. So I gotta go upstairs. That's just a given. Oh, God. Oh, wait, no. I stayed downstairs, go to the library, then I go up, because that's where we played hide and seek earlier. That's some bullshit. God, my anxiety. Oh, you want him to punch me like you did my dad. Oh, she almost popped out right then. See, I thought it was a big guy with a heart of gold, but then he just massacred the old man. That's the way I'm gonna have to go. I can't cut through the living room. That is not an option. 
Okay. This is where I went earlier, where I had so much trouble. Oh shit, go hide. Won't achieve anything hiding in there. Oh I wish I didn't have to do this. You don't. Okay. Hopefully I don't get checkpointed too far. Deep breath. Okay. It's just a game, it's not like they're killing you. Come on, buddy. Oh, I gotta start with like back there. Okay. I don't know where she goes after this, but she eventually walks off. That's the big guy I gotta worry about. Oh. Feels like Iron Man in that city built in a cave. Like, this dude is just a unit. Look at him. I'm just gonna hang out here for a minute. Wait until he makes his little turnaround seat. It's so hard to predict because he did not walk in the direction of me like he did earlier until She nearby. Okay. So I'm about to turn the corner. Okay, the deer head dude was walking out of the library earlier. He's talking. Was a flashlight. What is causing this light? Do I have a flashlight on? No. Okay. Just turn around, buddy. Okay. We go behind this wall. I'm not going to risk getting caught. I'm a 34 year old man. This should not bother me so much. Oh. Okay. Check for flashlights. Shit. up here. I don't think there's a way to access the upstairs without going through here. Let's look for light or some indicator of where he is. Ooh. Why am I so scared of a man with calves that skinny? Okay, I'm taking a risk, but I'm going for it. 
Okay. Let's look for a book by John Milton. Okay, so I am in the crouch position. This 3D audio. It's the best and worst thing about this game. He's all so secretive, but he doesn't have a computer that makes you put numbers with passwords? Well... I hear something around here. Oh, hell. Go ahead and hide, bro. You want to come upstairs? No? Okay. <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay. Dude walks around with a deer skull on his face. He's got issues. I keep hearing that lady, but she's not coming up here. Uh, see, getting out of here is not going to be easy. for a minute. Alright, he doesn't walk up to the bookshelves, so if I stick behind these little columns here, I should be good. So now I don't know where he is. Okay. Okay, so eventually he's going to go back over there. Okay, is he coming this way? Ooh. 
right. So I... I gotta head back. Okay, so go back around. Trigger ready. He didn't even look hard. But is someone in the... oh, okay? So they're both going to go back to where they were. a kid in the face are you serious all right I'm gonna edit that for you guys okay let me re-examine this map do I have any alternatives I cannot examine the map Oh, I got it. I can just go through the basement. I can save some time, right? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, I'm gonna cut through here. Because based on what happened last time, I know he's in the library and she's right there, so... But don't know where the big guy is. He may have moved. His father better start talking soon. It's in his own interest. <sighs> okay, I keep hearing her voice even when she's not nearby and it freaks me out. What? Um, sure. <laughs> Don't even know what that does. Okay. Well, okay, get a little turned around there. Okay, as long as no one is like right here on top of me, I should be able to go straight through. I just realized I could have saved a lot of time earlier if I had gone through the basement. Let's close the door. I wish it'd be a little quieter than that. A send new email. Oh, right. My name is Ben Richter. There are three intruders in my house. Huh? Oh, Aw, man. Naughty boy. There's someone in the study. Ben, you Can you let me move? Don't find me. We almost got him. Has he called anyone? Well, he tried. I put a program that blocks any attempts to communicate with the outside world and activates an alarm in my tablet. It's a good thing I did it, huh? You did amazing. I don't like her. Excuse me? What's this shit? <laughs> if you hadn't put that in, the kid wouldn't have realized what was going on and we would have caught him. Before you start bragging, think about doing things right. 
I am the first person who wants everything to go smoothly, okay? If we leave here empty-handed, you and the fucking nut can get on with your lives. I am a fugitive. With no money, I'll get caught, and I won't get out of prison before I'm 50. If you try to threaten me again, I'll crush your head. Oh. Okay. I wish I could access the map in here. Ducky flash drive. Oh, I can't keep it. Let's see. Where do I go now? I gotta go to the second floor. That's up to something for sure. So I gotta go to the other stairs. Oh, okay, they're right there. So that's not too bad. He's gonna see me. No, he's not. Ooh. Okay, so now I'm upstairs. around that corner the game just saved so it didn't take me a lot to get here so if we get caught I won't have far to go oh it's her I should have turned the other way but I don't like her. I do not like her. I want to cut through the basement and take those stairs. Okay, I feel like I can run down here. Okay, time to be sneaky again. So we know where Deerhead and the Hacker Witch are, but there's the big guy. I think his name was Mike. And I'm pretty sure he was the guy from the poster. Oh, shit. Well, we know where he is now. Don't punch me too hard, Bo. Go too far away. Mike is right here. I'm at the stairs.
Oh god, this is gonna be... Really anxiety inducing, okay. I don't know where Mike is, I just need to... Or the fucking room. so I gotta go to my room. God damn it. All right, one more try, come on. Okay. Just left the bedroom. We got some time now. Well, there's a hiding spot right there. Why didn't I just take that earlier? Okay. Search the walls, dude. This family's got some money. They built a gazebo next to their patio. Wait, what? If you have one, you don't need the other, and you really don't need either. I mean, oh, I can't do anything with that. Irene, I'm here in your room. But I can't find your pills anywhere. They have to be around there. I left them on. Oh no! Hide them! The monster's coming towards you! Oh hell. Gotcha! It's the dipshit with the deer head. Serious? I'll try. All right. Just like Assassin's Creed, bro. No big deal. In BD. Is he not gonna move? Is that a gnome? Come on, gotta focus on what's important. You are not at all like I imagined you, Paul. Married and with children. You have a very happy family, don't you? Okay, that's why there aren't, you don't see everyone else in the house. I guess they're helping you out a little on. Hell yeah, that's Mike right there. Um, help you out and being able to tell him without having to hide and lose him.
The problem with being at the top is that the only way to go is down. And a long fall awaits you. Just like with Dad, keep your head low and stay crouched. I'll take everything that matters to you away. I'll do the same thing you did to me. Irene, I haven't been able to get the pills. If I had just done that to begin with, I would have gotten there a lot sooner. Oh, I gotta deal with this asshole. I wish I could throw a rock or something to get her attention. Or a coin like in Hitman. Okay, so she's going in and out of the library. Okay, I'm not gonna try. Fuck. Why am I in the living room? What? As you can tell, I'm taking the alternate route to the basement. Oh, I'm sorry, the cellar. Let's go to the cellar. up scorn to the cell okay got a perfectly good run button I can't use it half the time there don't ask questions Ben <coughs> go up the stairs next to my office her button to slap him the code for the door is four eight nine one it might go good get in take the pills and get out do not touch anything else understand I don't know how to get out. I'm going to take a look. What do you want now? I 
think the time has come to explain what's going on here. The house is completely isolated. I've cut the landlines, there's no internet connection, and we have your cell phones and laptop. Mr. Richter, you have no choice but to collaborate with us. Someone will realize what is happening. You've taken a week off in your luxury vacation home. No one will be surprised if they don't hear from you during that time. How do you know all this? We also happen to know that there is a laboratory behind the door of the second floor. We have been hired to retrieve the formula that you've hidden inside there. Our steerhead McGee. Are these the pills? Yes, that's what you have been looking for. Take them and please leave us alone. He's lying. If these were the cure, he would never admit it. In any case, the pills wouldn't be of any use to us without the formula, not to mention the research data. Mr. Richter, you just need to give us the password to access the laboratory. We'll just take your research, and then we'll leave. Oh, we don't have any choice. Give it to him. They're lying, Jane. To use my research, it's not enough to make a copy. They have to be the only ones with the formula. And for that, they have to delete my files, and then kill me. Sounds fair to me. Necessary. <sighs> of course it is. The formula's in my head. I created it. I have no intention of giving it to you no matter what. I need that formula. It can't be true. Paul, honey. You more than anyone should know that there are worse things than death. We have all night to play on your strings. Sooner or later, we'll get our hands on your kids. If you're not reasonable, I'll have to make my own music with them while you watch. Could you bear that? I'll leave you to think it over. Please wait! So what do I do now? I gotta sneak by, don't I? Sure enough. Can I not crawl through these vents? Okay, she's not moving, so they're trying to... Uh, yeah, that's not possible. I was a rat in a trap. Very symbolic. Good detail. That light over her right eye would obscure her vision. Okay. So. It's by. Yeah, the straight staircase. Did he ever tell us the code? I really hope I'm not expected to remember that. Oh shit. Is that clipping through the wall or is she about to walk out here? Okay. I'm upstairs. According to this, I'm like right by where the lab is, at least I think so. Oh no, 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 no. I think I have to go through here. Yes. All right. 
There we go. sent me to his laboratory to get your pills. He gave me the code to get in, but the door just won't open. I've been trying to, 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 to remove the lockdown thingy, but I just can't. I think we need a key. Oh, God, really? Isn't there any other way to get in? There's a window. Take the window. Okay, so according to this, okay, at least her room isn't far away. Alright. So I saw two of them over there. How did she hear me? Okay, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Stay where you are. What I really don't like is over here. Oh, she's gonna hear me. Let's get in here. I gotta go onto that terrace. Or a deck, whatever it is. I see enough like before I learned she's gonna turn around. Yeah, I would not have had time to make that. Ooh. Okay, I thought she was coming back. Just in time, okay. Don't look 
look down. Please don't look down. I mean, for a little kid, you got plenty of foot room. I mean, come on. Damn, that's this is a house. Looks like the house of Ferris Bueller. Remember when that trip the car fell? Okay, none of my subscribers know what that is, except for like one or two, maybe. Strange. There's electricity in this room. Irene, I'm in the lab, but there are no pills here. Okay, I think that does it all for today's episode. Uh, judging by what I saw on the chapter select screen um, and a part that I edited out, it looks like I'll be able to wrap it up next time around. And again, if there are any games you'd like to see me play or if any comments at all, feel, please feel free to let me know. I'll love to communicate. As long as you're nice, I'll talk with you. And that's all for today's episode of Pops Arcade, and I'll see you tomorrow.